Here's one positive outcome of Will Smith's unhinged moment at the Oscars, it brought global attention to alopecia. And here's another, Jada Pinkett Smith seems to have made peace with it. She wore her near baldness intentionally, glamming it up at an event where the public gaze is about as intense as it gets. She winced at Chris Rock's joke, but it didn't undo her. She was fabulous. Then there are us mere mortals. I too have alopecia. Sometimes, I think it's cosmic payback for being overly obsessed with image. My late husband said I love the mirror too much. You're always looking at your hair, he said, when he caught me in the act. It's true, I was always looking. First to make sure my hair was in decent shape, literally. Anything from donning a pullover sweater to a mild breeze can wreak havoc with curly hair. But I was also simply admiring my coppery to brown, lately green-tinged, ringlets. I think black women are fabulous by nature, and hair tops off the fabulousness. Hair is a crown, a kind of armor that helps you feel regal when you're uncertain or undermined. This is true for me even if the mirror shows that the shape of my hair needs adjusting, that the curl is imperfect. The fabulous is still there. This is what I routinely look to the mirror to reaffirm. A couple of months ago, a check of the back of my head froze me in horror. Out of nowhere a wide, circular bald patch had appeared. It looked like the result of a brush fire that overnight had consumed most of the side part that anchors my signature look. I gasped, my presumed fabulousness suddenly punctured. At first I was frightened, then floored. Whatever else I might be lacking in life, my hair had always been abundant. Now I was operating from a deficit, distressing, though it's a position all too familiar to black people. The dermatologist diagnosed alopecia areata, an autoimmune condition in which white blood cells attack hair follicles and the hair falls out. There's no cure, but the hair tends to grow back, with treatment or without but not always, and the growing back can take time. The causes of alopecia are murky although every Google search about the condition mentions stress.